What does it take to start your own business? If you're like me, there's a lot of fear surrounding things we do for the first time. You feel overwhelmed and you're looking toward the finish line with no end in sight. Fear is the underlying factor and today I'm going to teach you the key to overcoming that fear so that you can show up in your business and break barriers you never thought possible. But first, I got a story for you where I almost died. But in that moment, I wasn't scared of anything. Well, I was, but not what you think. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Back, actually 10 years ago, it was in, maybe more than that, it was in 2010, I was doing a race called Race the Rockies. And what we did is we would get the night before coordinates of where we were going to go in the Rocky Mountains. We were up near Banff in British Columbia, in Canada. And there was this mountain, Kicking Horse Resort was on one side, very steep high mountain, and then this big valley and big mountains on the other side. And we had to traverse 50 miles the next day in under 18 hours. And you had to hit these coordinates and how you got to them didn't matter. But it was a combination of running, hiking, bike, mountain biking, whitewater kayaking, rappelling, a whole bunch of stuff. Exciting race, a lot of fun. And we got to the top of this first mountain, ran across this real precarious ridge, came back to the checkpoint, and there were our mountain bikes. And I rode down this mountain bike. I was racing with my brother and some friends, and I got a flat tire. And I was frustrated. And so I fixed my tire. I went again, got another flat. So then I fixed that tire and I went as fast as I could down this mountain. And it fortunately had some mountain bike trails and there was these big berms, banked turns that I was on. And I was flying around this turn as fast as my bike could possibly go. I couldn't pedal it any faster. It was flying. And I haul around this berm and as I come around, the trail ends. It is just a boulder field. Boulder's the size of your couch. And I bunny hopped the first one a little bit, thinking, what is gonna happen? And my back tire clipped it and launched me through this field of boulders. And I'll never forget, as I was flying through the air, thinking, this could be it. <laughs> I was just like, this is bad. I woke up about 30 minutes later, lying in a pile of my own vomit. I had a bib on with a number. My, bright, my bike was broken. So I knew I was in a race, but I couldn't remember how I'd gotten there. I had a concussion, I'd mashed all my ribs, I'd broken my clavicle, um, and I was in pain. And I managed to get down the mountain, I, because there's no trails that anybody's following, so nobody came and found me, and I got to the bottom of the mountain, and when I saw my brother coming toward me with, as medical staff came at me, I looked pretty rough, so everyone was coming. Um, I remembered I was in a race. I remembered the day, everything came back to me, so I wasn't permanently with amnesia. It wasn't a big deal at first, I thought it was a few broken bones, but what had happened while I was passed out is blood clots had filled the length of my arm, my right arm to my, from the wrist to the shoulder, and those blood clots had gone into my lungs. And I ended up with pulmonary embolisms and having difficulty breathing, and I was in the hospital, and there was a lot of concern about whether or not I would make it through the night. And my wife asked the doctor, He's going to make it. And the doctor said, if he gets through, um, he's got a really good chance. And I was in pain and lying there and I heard this. And my thought wasn't of concern of death. My thought was, I've always wanted to start my own business. And I have never done it. And lying there in that bed and seeing the incongruity of my fear of starting a business over facing death was so compelling to me <laughs> that I began to examine what I was scared of. Why was I scared to start my own business? Well, I was scared that I would fail and that would be embarrassing. I was scared that if I did fail, I wouldn't, make, I wouldn't be able to take care of my family. What that would mean, I would need help from people to support my family, that would be embarrassing. I might have to move home and live with my parents. I wouldn't wanna do that. I had all of these things that were, I was resisting facing because I was worried that really, I'd be ashamed of what I produced if I started my own business. And I realized in the face of death, a little shame is nothing to worry about. And so I made a commitment right there as I was lying in bed that I would start a business as soon as I could get out of bed. And I did. I started my own company and for about a year it was awesome and then it failed miserably. And my worst case scenarios all happened. Every single one of them. The business was terrible. I couldn't make any money. I worked at a pawn shop. 
I delivered um, divorce papers for lawyers in town. I was just doing all kinds of things. And I had a degree, I had degrees and I'm like, I'm educated and this is what I'm doing. My business failed. It was embarrassing. I didn't like it. But it was the catalyst that allowed me to really evaluate my skills, go back, get an MBA and become a consultant and do something I love. And it was that business that I started that allowed me to get into a good MBA program because I had started my own company. Had I not done that, I don't think I would have ever been able to get on a, on a trajectory to a business and a space that I love to do. So fear, when we're facing it, of starting a new business, whatever that is, if you have it in your heart, if you have a desire to do this and you're not, analyze what it is that you're facing. Feel that fear. Acknowledge it. Consider, is this something I'm willing to live with? Or do I prefer to sit and work in a space that I don't like to avoid my fear? If you're like me and you decide that, hey, I'm more scared of fear of failing than death, you might begin to understand that that's silly. <laughs> there is nothing to be gained by not doing anything. And there is everything to be gained by taking action and even failing. Failure is your opportunity to find creative answers, to move beyond, and then you can have this business that you love to do. But fear is the major roadblock that I see all the time with people wanting to start their business. If you have a desire to do it and you're not moving on it, look into yourself, uncover what it is that's holding you back, and then you can step into that space and do something that you'd love to do. So I told you I'd give you a key. And that is courage. Fear is the great divider between those who start their own companies and those who work for someone else. Fear that you don't have a good idea. Fear that you don't have the skill. Fear that you may fail. Fear that you will let down loved ones. Fear of financial hardship. How do you overcome this fear? You first have to have a desire. If you want to do it, you can find the courage within yourself once you understand what risks you're willing to face. Set boundaries for how long you will pursue this business how much you need to make, understand what your worst case scenario is, and decide whether or not you can live with it. Once you have laid out all of these things, ensure that you have the support you need to overcome the challenges and then you're bound, that you're bound to face as you struggle to succeed. Once you have done this, you have something tangible to hold on to. You see the boundaries and the perspective of what you're going for and you know how to move toward it. The other key element that people greatly underestimate though in starting your business is if you are in a relationship with someone, they must support you in what you do. If they are not supporting you, you have an absolutely huge challenge to overcome. I don't know anybody that has started their own business while in a relationship with someone else that has been successful without the support of their significant other. It is crucial. You need that support because you're going to face tough times. There is a lot to do, to adapt to, to change, to figure out, to learn. A, com a common phrase I hear from people that I coach that have started their own businesses is, I'm glad I, don't, I didn't know then what I do know now because I never would have started if I knew how hard it was. Don't let that deter you because each of these people, as they say it, love their job. What they're simply saying is there's a lot to learn. It's a steep curve. You got to dive in. So you got to be brave. This is the courage that we're talking about. You have got to seize all of the courage you can muster and chase this. Make it a dream. Make it worthwhile. Make it something that you love to do or that you're dying to try. And then you'll find the courage to do it. But fear is your block. So understand what it is. Build those parameters. Build that picture of what it is you're chasing. And go after it. You can't lose even if you do. It's a learning opportunity. It'll be a great story and it'll be something that can launch you into new ventures that you never thought were open. I'm going to leave you this, with this one last nugget. When you are starting your business, one of the things that I coach the guys that I've been very successful with is having the end goal in mind. What is the life that they want to live? Don't allow this business to become your life. Your business should support your life, not be your life. If that is what happens, if you, if you really dial in how much I want to work, what do I want my life to be like, do I want to be bound to this, 
and constantly sucked in, that's what will happen. This will consume you. But if you go at it with the end goal in mind, you are creating, you are making a custom-made lifestyle for you that you get to run and control. This is a powerful thing, but you must focus on it or the business will consume you. So speaking of developing this idea of a new business and having a mindset that allows you to step into this place, I have another video called How to Have a Growth Mindset in Business. Check it out. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Hope you like what you see. If you do, subscribe, click on the bell, put some comments below. Tell me of the struggles you faced in your businesses and things that you've done. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you want some more time with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can check on, you can click on my link in the description. Set up a time with me. We can have a conversation. Here's that video coming up. You want to develop a growth mindset. I know you do. And what are you doing but figuring out that? So stick with me. I'll show you stuff today.